Hello YouTube, welcome to another tutorial. As you can tell, I'm using a microphone this time for this tutorial, but if you prefer the old way with the text boxes, you know, let me know in the comments and I will do it that way from now on. It's just a bit easier for me to do the tutorials on the microphone, you know, I can get them out to you a bit quicker and stuff like that, so let me know anyway which one you prefer. Anyway, I've been getting a few requests about putting vocals onto a track, you know, for remixes and stuff like that. So what I've done is I've set a, um, a project up here. I, I, I've grabbed a MIDI file of Avicii Wake Me Up, you've probably heard of it on the radio and such. So all this is is, you know, the bass and the lead playing with a, um, you know, a kick drum in the background. Let me just copy that there, this for the side chaining. You know, I've got that in another, covered in another tutorial, so if you want to check that out, check that out. Anyway, so this is what we've got without the vocals. That just repeats. So what we're going to try and do is is put the uh, the vocals from that track onto there. Now the one I've got, which I'll drag up here for you, is not timed up. It's not synced up correctly. So I'll play that as it is, and we'll see what we can do with it. Feeling my way through the darkness, guided by a beating heart. I got so as you can tell, it's not very it's not synced up, and it's out of time and all that crazy stuff. So what you want to do, first thing, is come over here, select your scissors tool. I've got it uh, selected on my command thing, so I can just press command easily and bring it up without having to choose it every time over here. So I recommend doing that. Anyway, and what you want to do is, it's a lot easier to do on some vocals than other ones, because on here you can see we've got these spaces. So all you want to do is chop it up into lots of little pieces. At the beginning, every time you see a little break, on the line, just chop it there, give it a good old chop. Right. Do this bit first, just this first little bit, see how we get on. Right. What you want to do is bring get your first one lined up to where you think it is. Now I know for this track that the vocals usually come in on the second beat, and you need to do it just by sound, just by listening. There's no easy way to do it. You can just tell where the vocals should start in your own head, and that's usually correct. It's just a basic way of listening to music so if I play this here uh, what we'll do is we'll get all this out of the way for now just and we'll sort this bit out later I just want to get the basics out of the way right so I'm gonna play this here and we'll try and line it up right so here we go Feeling my way through the darkness. right so that sounds all right that first phrase we don't have to do much to it Feeling my way through the darkness. What I could probably do is if you hold, if you do that, stretch it out just a tad bit, and then listen to it. Feeling my way through the darkness. Zoom in here. We can take a look at the waveform. So what you, you can you can do it by uh, looking as well. I mean, you can see this is the main point where the vocals start. So if you just you know line it up to your beat, about there. Let's listen to that. Feeling my way through the darkness. Right. So there we go. There's the first phrase done. Now you just need to do the same thing that we've just done there to these second ones. Now I'll bring this one up, and we'll play it just as it is and see if it sounds okay. Feeling my way through the darkness Guided by a beaten heart So as you can tell there, it's in the wrong place. What we need to do is chop this down, chop this down, right? And we need to just line it up right correctly to where we think it should be. Just take a guess at first if you uh, if you don't know. Like I say, I know whereabouts this is. Take a guess and just keep listening back to it and see if it fits. Feeling my way through the darkness there we go, that fits on there perfectly. We haven't had to do much to this one. It fits without having to stretch it as we stretch the, the the first one. And what why we're having to stretch ones and not other ones is because the original file BPM was different to our project BPM and now you know beats per minute matching up to our kick drum bass and etc. So some one some are gonna require a bit more tweaking than others. Some will just fit like that one. All we have to do is move it into the the correct time. So we'll carry on doing that. Move it across there and we'll get this next bit. Feeling my way through the 
So if we just start from there this time, so we're not doing the same thing over and over again, and we'll just see how it sounds. Guided by a beaten heart. I can't tell. Uh, so as you can tell straight away that the vocals are coming in too late from you know, it's, it's missing the beat. So what we do is bring it up there. You can trim it up there just to tidy it up so you haven't got overlapping bits. So, you know, let's just whack it there and see it. Whack it there and see how that sounds. We get a bit of vocal in there from the other one just to get it, so it's easy to line it up. I can tell where the journey will end. Right, so it seems a bit too slow. It seems to be timed right, but it seems too slow. The vocals are too slow for the, the, the rhythm of the track. Oh, I can't tell where the journey will end. So what we do is just drag it out just one step at a time, take it slow, and try again. I can't tell where the journey will end. Another step. Oh, Actually, I think that one needs speeding up. Excuse me. And try again. Oh, I can tell where the journey will end. So, Tad Mark. It's a bit too much, isn't it? Try again. Oh, I can tell where the journey will end. Next bit, it's not perfect, I know, but I'm just showing you the, you know, the basic thing. Obviously, it takes time to do all this. You need to take your time. You need to go through it millions of times until you're to the point where you're sick of hearing the song. That's how you know you've you spent enough time getting it right. Is when you're sick of hearing the song. So, I'll line this one up and take a listen. I can tell where the journey will end. But I know where to start. Could be about that. Let's try. Tell where the journey will end. But I know. Let's try again. Tell where the journey will end. But I know where to start. Right, so there we go. We've got our first bit done. Let's listen to it all together and make sure it sounds okay. Feel my way through the darkness Guided by a beaten heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start So as you can, you might be able to hear it here It kind of, the, the vocals cut off Watch you leave it here Feel my way beaten heart Yeah, it kind of cuts off so what you can do there is either extend this to include the fall off from the vocals. Let's see if that does it. It sounds a little bit better, but another trick you can do is if you just add a little bit of delay, stereo delay, only a little amount, you know, like 10%, something like that, maybe even less. What it'll do is it'll, it'll add a little echo to the end so it doesn't feel like your, your audio is just stopping. And this is, your, your delay is not part of this track it is an effect that's added to it so no matter what happens there if the audio just cuts off it will still echo like even though there's nothing here you'll do it will be echoing still so it's hard to explain but yeah you'll listen you'll hear it yeah. Let's it. so when it when the cursor gets here you'll hear that there's no audio there that you can see in waveform but you'll hear the echo from this part so here you go watch Beaten hard. Now, can you hear it? Hard, 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 yeah. Right, so. So, you have it. I mean, I could do this bit for us, but it's basically just the same thing over and over again. Uh, and it, it's not going to be the same thing uh, for every track out there. I mean, there's going to be some things that require so much more stretching of, of each thing. You're gonna, Some are going to be like this. This one's been quite simple. I didn't expect it to be simple, but you know, it did. Sometimes it's as easy as that. Other times it takes a lot longer and a lot of faffing about. You get very frustrated on that, but you do get there in the end. It's just a matter of time to get there, how long it takes you to get there. So, 
there you go. I hope that helps you. Um, I'm just trying to think of if, if there's anything else I can include in here. Uh, do, 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 I don't think so. I no, I think that's it. I mean, you get the idea. Uh, I will include the acapella that I found on here. I will include the MIDI files, so you can have a play around with this one, or even better, try your own. I mean, it's all about trying for yourself on your own projects, not really copying what I'm doing. Take away what I've shown you here and apply it to something else, so then you can use it for yourself in your next project. I uh, hope this clears everything up, and I won't receive any more messages asking for this. Um, but if not, if it doesn't help you at all, message me anyway and to let me know and I'll try and explain it a bit more clearer. But this is the, how I use it. This is how I did it in my Rihanna remix from a while back. Uh, that's how I did it in my Stone Sour uh, remix that I did like pretty recently. So check them out on SoundCloud. The link will be in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a message of any tutorials you'd like me to do. I mean, I, I don't want to just make tutorials that nobody listens to. I'm trying to do it so, you know, someone requests one. If I get enough requests, I'll do it there. Then I know people are watching the tutorials and it's actually useful for people. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next tutorial.